Natural killer, or NK cells, are a type of innate immune cell that kill transformed or virally infected cells by secreting the cytotoxic contents of specialised lysosome-related organelles called lytic granules. Jordan Orange and colleagues at Baylor College of Medicine previously discovered that NK cells initially gather their lytic granules around their microtubule organising centre before the mTOC polarizes towards the immunological synapse where the NK cell contacts its target and where the granules can be secreted to induce cell death. We learned that it was the dynein motor that was driving the convergence of lytic granules along microtubules to the microtubule organizing center. We learned that the process occurred almost instantly after the engagement of a diseased cell. We also began to define some of the signals that drove this process, and then a different laboratory has also defined that this process of convergence happens in the cousin of natural killer cells, which is uh, cytotoxic T cells. But we really didn't know why natural killer cells converge their lytic granules. Now, why is this happening? To investigate this question, Orange and colleagues, led by graduate student Shung Ting Shu, adapted a previously developed experimental system using Drosophila S2 cells, which can be converted into NK cell targets by the expression of certain human ligands. We could utilize them either expressing no human ligands, expressing the ligand for LFA1 integrin, a strong convergence signal for the natural killer cell, or coded with a polyclonal IgG antibody against the Drosophila cells, which triggers the CD16 receptor on the natural killer cell, which is a strong degranulation signal. CD16 does not provide a convergence signal, so it's degranulation without convergence. Now, if you put the two of them together, the IgG and the ligand for the LFA1 integrin, you get strong convergence with degranulation. Using this system, Xu et al. found that convergence promoted the directional secretion of lytic granules at the immunological synapse. Triggering degranulation without inducing convergence resulted in the non-directional secretion of granules at other sites on the NK cell surface. To investigate the consequences of this on cytotoxicity, Orange and colleagues collaborated with a team of Swedish researchers on a technique called ultrasound-guided acoustic trap microscopy that can control the formation of specific NK cell target cell conjugates. We could have target cells that promoted uh, degranulation without convergence or cells that promoted degranulation with convergence. And what we saw is that the convergence signal really allowed for a greater efficiency of cytotoxicity against the triggering cell. So by having all of the granules in one place, you're more likely to kill the cell. That's promoting the um, stimulus in the first place. In vivo, NK cells seek and destroy single disease cells within otherwise healthy tissues. Shu et al. reason that lytic granule convergence and directional secretion might not only promote target cell killing, but also limit the collateral damage to nearby healthy cells. If we differentially dilabeled cells, and we put in a stimulating cell, and if we put in a cell that wouldn't stimulate, so a perceived bystander cell in different colors, and we aggregated them all together by acoustic trap microscopy, if the granules were converged, it would really only kill the inciting cell. But if the granules were dispersed, non-converged, then you get killing of both the triggering cell and the bystander cell. To test this effect in a different way, Xu et al. treated NK cells with the dynein inhibitor cilia brevin D, which blocks granule convergence without inhibiting degranulation, and assessed the cell's activity using a flow cytometry-based assay. So we did some of these experiments using natural killer cells that had all of the signals to converge their granules and should have had this highly efficient killing with protection of the bystanders. 
But when they were pre-treated with Celia Brevin, they now all of a sudden started killing innocent bystanders in addition to the targeted cell. Shu et al. then tested the importance of granule convergence in a more physiologically relevant setting, examining the activity of NK cells towards transformed B cells that are resistant to NK cell killing unless they are coated with rituximab, a therapeutic monoclonal antibody that activates the CD16 receptor on the NK cell surface. The transformed B cell also has the ligand for the LFA1 integrin. So this is a situation where you have both convergence and degranulation. We block the convergence signal using a blocking antibody to LFA1 integrin. And when that was performed, the granules did not converge and you got dispersed degranulation and in addition to killing a cell that was coated with rituximab, you're also able to now destroy surrounding cells that were not coated with rituximab. In some circumstances, inhibiting lytic granule convergence and promoting bystander killing could actually be beneficial. In antibody or cell-based cancer immunotherapies, for example, it could result in a more widespread killing of tumor cells, including ones that are in the process of immune escape. So we're really excited about testing this out in more clinically relevant settings using cellular therapy products to see if some of this biology holds up and also moving into in vivo systems to see if the infusion of cytotoxic cells targeting tumors in which granule positioning is controlled might indeed have greater destruction uh, of the tumors themselves and perhaps even promote survival advantages to the animals receiving these cytotoxic products. For now though, you can learn more about how NK cells converge lytic granules to promote cytotoxicity and prevent bystander killing in the paper by Xu et al, published in the December 19th, 2016 issue of the Journal of Cell Biology.